Hi, welcome. Today's story is called The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. It is by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Wilmer. So what do these two kids who can't fall asleep do? They set traps all over the house, hoping to catch a leprechaun who will lead them to his pot of gold. But they don't realize just how tricky a leprechaun can be. Will they be able to catch a leprechaun? Let's find out. Twas the night before St. Patrick's, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring, except Tim and Maureen. Happy St. Patrick's Day. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. Shiny treasure inside. Enter. Lucky Leprechaun Slide. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. from their bedroom there arose such a clatter the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter and what to their wondering eyes should appear but a terrible mess a leprechaun was here whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. 
the kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real live leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed all in green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky. No lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Oh. <laughs> I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh, you gotta be careful. Those leprechauns sure are tricky. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed today's story, please remember to hit that thumbs up button right down below and become a subscriber if you haven't already. And also hit the notification bell so you know when the next story is available. Thank you.